what do you think will be the long-term effect of the coordinated effort by central banks around the globe to pump their economies full of liquidity? Long term, other than inflation, which everybody sort of expects is going to happen eventually. Um, well, but that is the big effect, inflation. It's sort of like uh, you know, the old joke in the U.S., other than that, Mrs. Lincoln, how did you like the play? Well, <laughs> you can't analyze central bank activity uh, and ignore that elephant in the room of, of, of future inflation. Now, sometimes inflation shows up as higher consumer prices. Sometimes it shows up as asset bubbles, and we certainly have seen that with housing and, uh, and high tech uh, in the first decade of this century in the U.S. and the 1990s for the uh, high tech bubble. Uh, if governments are creating too much liquidity, it has to go someplace. Now, right now, a lot of that excess liquidity is just sitting at the Fed in the form of excess reserves. So it's like, a, it's like the sword of Damocles hanging over our necks. Now, what happens if the economy picks up and that money begins to get left out to the economy and then, of course, you have this sort of multiplier effect of it getting redeposited, re-lent out, and so on and so forth? Then that excess liquidity is seeping out into the real economy and presumably either a bubble or, a, or higher consumer prices. Now, why is this happening? Why are central banks doing this? Because they think it somehow helps the economy. It's the old theory of, uh, of trying to shoot pool with a rope. <laughs> well, it doesn't work. You, you can pour liquidity into the economy, but if you're not fixing the underlying problems of bad tax policy, bad spending policy, bad regulatory policy, it doesn't matter how much liquidity is sitting there uh, at the Fed, who's going to want to lend money and engage in new business activity when they're not confident that they can make profits in the future?